In today's video, I'm going to talk about the worst possible behavior that's holding you, my fellow man, back from reaching the best possible version of yourself, toxic masculinity. Welcome to Better Today, a place where young leaders like you find work-life inspiration. If you're a bro and you're willing to keep an open mind for the next few minutes, then this video is definitely for you. Make sure to watch until the end and remember, this video is to help you become better today. Toxic masculinity can sometimes feel like a blanket term. I want to make it very clear that we're going to talk about the behavior here so that you and I can learn to be better in both our work and our personal lives. Toxic masculinity is a narrow definition of what it means to be a man. It's narrow because this definition focuses on traits that are centered around violence, sex, status, and being aggressive. What makes toxic masculinity so widespread and sadly accepted is because it's become part of someone's cultural identity. And yes, toxic masculinity happens quite a lot in Filipino culture. Think about all the stereotypical sayings that you've heard both at work and at home. Boys shouldn't cry or shouldn't be emotional. Boys will be boys when justifying actions that would have given a woman a pretty negative label. Treating rape jokes, catcalling, and stalking as harmless or for fun lang. Toxic masculinity is not about making us men look bad. Of course, not all men think it's feminine to be emotional. Of course, not all men agree that rape jokes are cool. But some men do, and it falls on you and I to help change this behavior. If you must ask why, well, toxic men aren't ever going to listen to women. How exactly does toxic masculinity hold you back from being the best possible version of you? Well, I can give you five obvious ways. It can cause bullying. Men who may need to show how dominant or assertive they are can bully others to show how manly they are. It can cause domestic violence and abusive relationships. Think about it. If a man needs to constantly reassure himself that he is masculine, he could resort to harming his partner or other members of his family just to show how dominant he is. It can kill your career. From my experience, men with toxic masculinity never seem to learn from others and they tend to put other people down. In the madman era, maybe this works. But in the modern workplace, have fun at your exit interview or your chat with your lawyer if you get sued. It can end your friendships and your relationships if you're always the guy who kills the mood with an inappropriate joke and unacceptable sexist behavior. You are going to lose the respect and love of the people that matter to you. It can also end your life. Male suicide is a real thing and it's a top killer of men our age. Being embarrassed about depression or forcing yourself to Man up is not healthy and it's not worth dying for. So what can you do to put a stop to toxic masculinity? First and most importantly, is to acknowledge that it exists. I grew up in cultures and environments with really bad cases of toxic masculinity. In primary school, walking away from a fight would get you labeled as gay or a pussy. It sent me and other boys my age the message that being brave and fighting was manly and that being smart enough to walk away was cowardly or feminine. It cost me a lot of explanations during PTA meetings, a missing tooth, and several scars. As men, we need to acknowledge that toxic masculinity exists. You and I cannot sweep it under the rug. You and I might not have these behaviors anymore, but there are other people out there who do. Second, is to call it out when you see it. Men with toxic masculine tendencies are likely to never listen to women. They might not even listen to you and label you a snowflake or accuse you of being too sensitive. That's fine. What's important is that the behavior gets called out. The fact that a fellow man is disapproving of their behavior will send a strong signal that what they just did is not acceptable. It will take time and it will take many of us. So it's important that we stay consistent. And if you're still here, thank you for keeping an open mind. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. Third, is to stand up for women whenever possible. A friend of mine and a fellow creator, Isa, is a tech vlogger. Well, the tech content space, it's a bit of a boys club. It's no surprise then that she gets frequent comments and messages from these tech bros pretty much telling her that women shouldn't be vlogging about or reviewing tech and gadgets. My God. It was great to see members of the tech community, many of them men, 
stand up against these tech bros. It was great to see them send a message to the community that toxic masculine behavior is not to be tolerated. Remember, it's not about being a knight in shining armor. It's about being fair. Fourth, is to change the language that we use. I'm willing to bet that you probably have a chat group with your boys, your most trusted male friends. Check the language that you guys normally use. Do you talk down women with phrases like babae kasi or don't be a girl? Do you use feminine terms as insults or jokes when you see each other? If you are, then that behavior is one of the easiest and simplest things to change. And if your bros are truly your bros, they are going to understand why you want your language to change. They are going to understand why it needs to change. If they end up making fun of you about it, congrats! You found yourself a bunch of toxic dudes. Fifth is to normalize traditionally non-masculine behavior among men. It takes a lot of effort to unlearn and change toxic masculine behaviors. Why do you think more men choose to bottle up their emotions rather than have a healthy conversation about it with friends and loved ones? As a man who's trying to be better today, it's your job to try and provide that safe space for fellow men who are trying to be better. It falls on you to provide a non-judgmental environment in case a friend might want to be more open with his emotions. It falls on you to provide kindness, honesty, and patience. And don't forget to call out good behavior whenever you see it. Positive reinforcement works. Have you experienced toxic masculinity? How did you respond to it? Share your thoughts with me in the comments below. If you found this video inspiring or informative, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. My name is Jason and may you be a better man today.